Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia and in today's video I have my lovely client Taylor and I wanted to show you guys her before before we get started She was telling me that she feels like her hair is not growing and I'm like girl You are crazy because literally she's been coming to me for two years and when she first started her hair was literally at her shoulders We did a nice cut and then it's been growing ever since so I was like girl Let me get the before and I'm gonna add a snippet here just so you can see how cute and luscious her afro was before we did her nice trim and chop last time when she first came so this is how much her hair has grown in two years and it's gotten so long i remember it was literally like right above her shoulders and now it's like past bra strap but it's like not tailbone let like yet it's like in that weird uh area y'all know what i'm trying to say so anyway i'm just going to do like a little bit of this sped up and that's just going to be the silk press part but i wanted to leave the um blow dry and everything as is just so you guys can kind of get an idea of how long it actually takes so taylor's hair has been shampoo conditioned washed treated so on and so forth um and then now i'm just going in putting a little bit of heat protectant in her hair by leaf and flower and i'm just sectioning out her hair so you just want to make sure that when you guys are blow drying natural hair you're taking it in nice big sections and not big sections big or small doesn't really matter whatever floats your boat um like people say it's more than one way to skin a cat so what might work for me and my clients might, might not work for you and yours and that's perfectly fine but do you i'm gonna do what works for me so i like to separate the hair into um nice subsections and then just detangle so that way i have a better way of getting through the hair and then i'm just going to go in now and use my paul mitchell 427 paddle brush as well as my um oh i got a package yay <laughs> i'm using my paul mitchell 427 paddle brush and my recipe free blow dry and again i will link everything down below so that way you guys can see so um just watch as i blow dry my client out and if you guys have any questions you already know you can drop it down below i just wanted to do something a little different so i'm just going to speak when needed but um you guys know i do this all the time so reference all my other videos i really just wanted to show how much her hair has grown in two years with being consistent my thing is i tell my clients i focus on natural healthy hair i focus on natural hair you guys know how i am i like to make sure that my clients not only look beautiful but feel beautiful but I also wanna make sure that they know how to maintain their hair. So whenever you come to me for a first visit, I always ask like, you know, what products do you use? What is your regimen? What is your lifestyle like? Are you stressed? Do you take vitamins? Do you drink water? What is your diet? I ask all of these things so that way I can kind of get a general idea of what my client is going through. So that way I can help best assist. Meaning that when they come to me to get their hair done, I do what I do, but then as soon as you leave, you're also keeping up with it. This is how a lot of my clients grow their hair super long because they are able to come to me periodically but also maintain their hair at home because i pretty much give them a guide and set them up for success okay so taylor made me super proud and of course I asked could i record her i was being kind of shy in the beginning i'm like girl can i record you and she was like absolutely and she's such a vibe i love her so much um so just want to mention that very brilliant very intelligent girl beautiful gorgeous as you can see i told her she has some of the best brows her and Aaliyah they they got the battle of the brows because they have some gorgeous brows but anyway i'm rambling i'm just sectioning her hair out guys and like i said just detangling using my paddle brush and my paul mitchell brush you can use your hands you can use a wide tooth comb you can use a paddle brush you can use a, a brush detachment comb detachment again whatever floats your boat do what works best for you and your client the most important thing is that they're comfortable that you're using good products and that you are taking your time okay and you want to make sure that your client feels comfortable
Now, guys, look at that shine. I'm sorry if y'all hear noise in the background. They're literally doing construction in my neighborhood. They're building a, a brand new house right across the street. And they had to actually dig up <laughs> our sidewalk so they can get to the water line. So it is hectic right now. All I hear is all these like different machines going off and all this di uh, different equipment. So if y'all hear that in the background, I do apologize. But I got to get this video out. And not to mention... My 31st birthday is tomorrow. I turn 31 tomorrow on the 23rd September. Libra gang in the house. Libra gang in the house. So I don't really have any plans for my birthday, y'all. I just took off. So I'm off today, which is Friday the 22nd. I took off the 23rd for my birthday. Made no plans because my anniversary is actually next month on October 18th. My husband and I will be married for nine years. And then my son as well, he's turning um 13 so it's reverse i'm turning 31 he's turning 13 <laughs> hashtag teen mom if y'all want a story time on that i can drop it but you know <laughs> so uh with that being said i put my baby you know ahead of me i wanted him to have a really really bomb birthday so i booked a surprise trip for him so more details coming soon so we're just going to do that next month and kind of do like a birthday slash anniversary all in one because obviously like my husband and my son and my kids come first period so I'm more of a homebody. So I'm like, let me just chill out today, you know, vibe out, watch some TV. I'm binge watching Malcolm in the Middle right now, Hulu. And uh, also Flavor of Love. <laughs> I'll be in here watching the most random stuff on my days off. But it's just so nostalgic for me because that's like literally what I grew up on. Like Bernie Mac, My Wife and Kids, all those type shows. So I done binge watch all of that already like several times. So now I'm moving on to the next. And I'm like, yo, I used to watch Malcolm in the Middle, like Malcolm in the Middle with my dad all the time. And now like... And I'm older. I'm catching all the little side jokes and stuff. So it's definitely dope. But anyway, as you can see, Taylor's hair is nice and shiny. I'm just taking my time and just making sure that I'm doing a thorough blow dry. So because her hair is super thick, what you want to do first is just initially stretch the hair out as best as you can and get it as dry as possible. Once I'm done that, I will take my wide tooth comb and section the hair in about four sections. Then I'll go through each section with the blow dryer and the um, paddle brush. Then I'll flip her hair upside down. You'll see that in a few. I'll get like underneath and on the sides of her hair just to make sure there's no moisture on the scalp. And then once it's finally like 95, 98% dry, then I'll go in with my round brush. And then I will go in and actually use tension while I'm using my round brush to stretch the hair out. That is the most important part because if you get the hair super straight during the blow dry, then you only have to do one to two passes when you're still pressing and you don't have to work as hard, okay? So again, we're trying not to damage the hair. So if you get it right the first time, you don't have to double back. Um, another thing while I'm thinking about it, guys, I am launching another website soon. I just hired a graphic designer I found on Instagram. I actually been following her for a minute. So that's what's up and coming. I have um, different things dropping. I'm gonna drop a course on how to build your clientele. I'm gonna drop a course on how I edit my videos and stuff. I'm gonna also drop a course on how to be on people's PR list and how to get recognized by big brands. I'm also gonna drop a course on how I open my hair salon with no money, <laughs> what else? I'm just different things, whatever y'all wanna know, honestly, just let me know. I'm thinking about also doing like a mentorship where I check in and give some people like my personal information. We check in once a week, hold each other accountable. And I'm also working on a master plan because I don't know if I wanna sell my flat irons that you'll see in this video. Uh, because they sold out you guys really really did me in like i really appreciate y'all y'all are the best but i'm debating on whether i want to sell my flat irons but i think honestly i'm about to sell the plug y'all my vendor is the bomb.com like literally when i tell you they make everything custom flat irons blow dryers hair curlers products um they literally do everything so if you're somebody that's new in the industry and you really just don't know where to start my plug Oh, they get you right like when i tell you i customize everything like down to the plate color i was like i want my flat irons to be all black i don't want the silver plate i don't want the, the gold plate i was like i want my thing to be custom i want this logo i want that i need this i want the settings to go to this like they literally let me customize my irons and so i think i might include that on my website as well but more to follow soon okay just keep an eye out so anyway i'm going to finish blowing out taylor just enjoy the section and then i'll come back when i'm ready to press her out
so here I'm just showing again a comparison of how her hair was when she first came. As you can see, it's literally to her shoulders. And again, on the right side is before we even cut it. So tremendous difference. And that's another reason why I like recording my clients when they come. Because I feel like sometimes when you wear your hair out and you look at it every day, you really feel like it's at a standstill. And it takes for somebody else to be like, no, girl, like it's growing. Like I told her it was. But once I show her the side by side, she was like, oh, my God, like my hair really grew a lot. And I'm like, yeah, girl, you got this. Like keep up the good work. So anyway, side note, it is <laughs> it is nine o'clock in the morning right now. My husband was like, he's home with me today. The kids are in school, so we're just going to chill and hang out. But he was like, what do you want for breakfast? <laughs> my dumb ass going to say crab legs. Y'all know I love me a snow crab leg, okay? I am spoiled. But um, because it's 9 a.m. in Delaware, um, no crab spots are open, so I opted for Royal Farms chicken. And let me tell y'all, this chicken is busting. Look at, listen to this, y'all. Listen to this. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. I said, that's okay. I'm gonna just eat this for breakfast, you know, for now. But he will be buying me crab legs for lunch because I'm spoiled. Watch. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, just watch. Y'all gonna see it in the stories later on. Y'all heard it here first. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna finish tearing this food up real quick. And I'll hop back on in just a few. Here, I'm just using a Cricut round brush. Again, I get this off of Amazon or you can get it from Cosmoprof. It's linked in my Amazon store. Anytime I post stuff on my videos, I always make sure to update my Amazon store. So if you ever wanna see what I'm using for certain things, just go to my salon, uh, my salon list. I also have one for the girls, one for my recording equipment, so on and so forth. And I was trying to put this chicken back. Like I took a couple little bites, but why is every piece crispy y'all? Like, look, this is piece number two. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God, I keep trying to, you know how you try to put something down, you keep coming back to it because it's good. I was not expecting this food to slap this good this early, y'all. It might just be because I'm hungry, but this food is busting. So I hope y'all have great plans for the weekend. I hope everybody is vibing out. We made it, it's Friday. I'm in such a good mood, y'all. Despite all the nuts stuff that was happening, I was gonna come back on here and blast the company that I had in my last video for their little fraudulent mess, but we're not even gonna give it no more energy because they know they got me effed up. <laughs> they know. Trust me, they know. So anyway, I'm gonna finish blowing her out and then you guys will see me pressing her with my irons and then I am gonna go ahead and curl her. I didn't have to trim her and you'll see why. Literally, as soon as I got done blow drying her hair, you could see how perfectly straight and even her hair was. So I was just like, Taylor, you're doing such a great job. You don't need a trim. So if a client comes in and they book a trim and they don't need one, I will let them know and vice versa. So if they don't book a trim and they really need one, I'll pull them to the side and be like, hey sis, let me just hit your ends. You can say yes or no, but most times my clients just say do whatever because they trust me and that's the whole reason why they come to me. So I'm just going in, round brushing her hair, adding some tension just to get it as straight as possible before I go in and blow dry. I mean blow dry, uh, press. And before I press it, I am gonna go in with some S3 spray by Influence. You guys know I use this all the time. And you just wanna make sure that you're putting heat protectant through each process. So I put the molecular oil by leaf and flower before the blow dry. And then I'm gonna put the Influence S3 spray in before the press.
All right, I got to hurry this up because now they're starting to bang and stuff outside again. But now that this is done, I'm just going in, making sure that the hair is nice and dry. And look at the shine on this. Look at the shine on this. This is what I'm talking about. It's the products for me. Yes, they're a little pricey, but it's so worth it. And again, if you spend more money on your products, you can charge more for your press as well, guys. I'm going to um, play a little game. I don't know if y'all follow me. My um, Instagram is very easy to find out, but... How much do y'all think I charge for a silk press? I just want to, I'm curious to know like what y'all think I charge. Or um, also, what do you guys pay for a silk press in your area? That's probably a better question. Drop that down below because I am curious to know. And just let me know where you're located as well. This is how you know we're doing too much, y'all. So I just had my Royal Farms DoorDash because my driveway is literally blocked in with all these construction cars and stuff. But my husband also DoorDash and his food just came. And he got Chick-fil-A and I'm about to uh I'm about to reach in the bag and try to grab a little a little uh teeter tot or something before you come down. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going in. I'm being so goofy today, y'all. But I'm going in and just pressing her hair out. And then once I'm done, again, I'm just gonna go in, put her part in. And then I am going to go ahead and curl her with my um, flat iron. Now, I could have went in with my T3 irons that I have. But honestly, I left the attachment piece in my car. And I was just too lazy to walk outside. She told me that she wanted like some curls with some volume. And I said, you know what? What better thing to do this with than my flat irons? Like, my flat irons can do everything. Why am I playing around? So, I just basically was like, do you trust me? She's like, yeah. She pretty much just wanted me to freestyle the curl. She wanted a little bit of body. Um, her hair is nice and thick and nice and full. So I'm telling y'all, this flat iron that I have, it is bomb.com. And I'm not even saying that because it's the bomb. But y'all literally see me use this in almost every video. For the past two, three years, even before I came out with it, when I tested that um, prototype one, I've literally been using the same flat iron. Like, I don't switch up. Um, so I am a firm believer of standing behind your product as well. But the thing about this iron, when you curl the hair, you know how sometimes you'll curl your hair with a flat iron and then like 20 minutes later, it's flat? You can literally curl your hair with these irons and the curls will not fall. And you'll see that at the end. I'm going to run my fingers through and like just her hair just so you can see like how I styled it. But the curls were not going anywhere. Like they were in there. And I ran my fingers through her hair for a good like five minutes just because I was trying to get my content for YouTube and Instagram slash TikTok. So I was just like, Taylor, can I uh, just judge you up at the end? And she was like, girl, do whatever. She was like, pretty much do whatever you want, whatever you think is cute. The only thing that she requested is that I put her part on the left. And that was it. And honestly, she told me I could even put her part wherever I wanted, but I felt like it would look better on the left hand side just personally. So that's what I did. So again, just pressing her out and then just gonna curl her with my um, flat irons. And then I'm gonna run my fingers through just to show you how I judge it. But look at that shine, guys. Let me get a screenshot. This might be the thumbnail right here. I just love what I do. I love my clients. I love the vibe. I love the freedom of what I do. I've worked really, really hard. Y'all know I've been doing hair since I was in like middle school like even before then i have so many busted hair pictures i might even drop some i don't know if i'm gonna drop it on screen just yet <laughs> i don't want y'all flaming me up but trust me i was doing white hair black hair puerto rican green purple yellow i did not care i just wanted to get in people's hair and that's kind of how i learned how to get better but them first couple years when i be looking back at my hair albums i'm like what was i doing y'all really was believing in me because some of the hairstyles i did was looking so busted but that's just part of the process i'm very proud of myself I feel like to be, you know, about to be 31, um, my husband and I are in a second home, kids doing well, school great, you know, successful, like pretty much the American dream. And you know how when people be telling you like, you know, 
it can't happen for you or you know it's going to be hard and people doubt you and then you just show up and show out like that's the best feeling ever like i can't describe it i have such drive and determination nothing's going to stop me so on the left y'all see how short her hair was when she first started look at that look how long it is now so i definitely had to do the side by side because i was like look how much her hair has grown and again that's why the clients come to me so i'm just gonna finish curling her i'm gonna judge her out i'm gonna finish eating my food and hanging with my hubby if you guys have any questions please 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 do not hesitate to drop them down below and i will catch you guys in my next video and drop some happy birthdays in the comments because i probably won't be on here tomorrow but i'll come back probably like later on or whatever but i'll try to respond to all the comments so thank you guys for watching and for supporting me for listening to me rambling in my videos y'all know how i do and um, make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, and I will catch y'all later. Enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you.